position. Question number two, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Finance, how did the budget on 16 May contribute to the Government's economic programme? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the budget provided further momentum right across the Government's economic programme, built on considerable progress over the last four budgets. In particular, progressed the Government's four priorities for this term. Uh, getting, getting back to surplus, uh, a more competitive economy, better public services and rebuilding Christchurch. Uh, the budget continues to focus on imbalances which are part of the recovery, such as the pick-up in house prices, but sh which could threaten the recovery. Supplementary, supplementary question, Honourable Kate Wilkinson. A supplementary to the Minister of Finance. What has been the Government's approach to implementing its economic programme and what do recent indicators show about progress? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the government, has, the government has focused on uh, moderate and consistent change over time uh, to manage New Zealand out of the uh, difficult circumstances of the recession and the earthquakes, but at the same time to invest in, in improving our capacity for growth in the future. Uh, the government's plan is, begin is working, as international bodies such as the IMF have recognised. Uh, in the last, last year, New Zealand grew about the same rate as Australia, uh, higher than most other developed economies, and looking over the out over the next couple of years has better prospects than most developed economies, uh, and probably moderately better prospects in Australia. Supplementary. Honourable Kate Wilkinson, supplementary. How does the current economic outlook, as set out in the budget, compare with the position the government inherited in 2008? Uh, Honourable Mr. Bill Speaker, English. The economy is in much better shape, and compared to other countries, uh, there is a sense that New Zealand has, has, dealt with, has been dealing with some of the key issues that are going to dog other developed economies for the next decade. Uh, five years ago, New Zealand was in deep recession, the global economy was in crisis. Government spending was out of control. The Treasury forecast showed never-ending deficits and soaring debt, and that is before the Christchurch earthquake hit, uh, which is going to have an impact of about 20 per cent of GDP. Uh, so the government's plan is to be to get on top of those issues in the short term and build our long-term capacity for growth. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Honourable Kate Wilkinson. What independent reports has he received on the budget in the government's wider economic programme? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the uh, reports on the budget have generally supported uh, the government's economic direction, uh, but I'll we'll be the first to give the, the credit to New Zealanders, their businesses and households who have proven to be uh, so resilient and have actually made the decisions that have enabled New Zealand to get back on its feet. The Employers and Manufacturers Association uh, commented on the government's uh, returning the books to surplus, giving business uh, confidence. Uh, business New Zealand says a careful and measured approach to spending uh, is also showing uh, benefits as well as the focus on competitiveness through innovation, infrastructure, internationalisation and skills. Even the Children's Commissioner, who is uh, generally a critic of the government, uh, has said there is much to be impressed with in the budget, despite, despite the government's constrained finances. Supplementary question, Dr Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Given that New Zealand's net international debt will increase by $61 billion over five years under the budget projections and economic plan he released, does he consider that an increase in net debt of $61 billion over five years is a sustainable economic strategy? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I think uh, in the context of the recession there, there has been a significant build-up in debt, of government debt, and that is, uh, that is what has... Point of order, Dr Russell Norman. Sorry to interrupt the Minister, but it was about New Zealand's net international investment position, the, new, the debt of New Zealand, not the government's debt position. Order. That, allow the Minister to answer the question. Honourable Mr Bill Speaker, English. if the member was really concerned about that, he'd support the asset sales which are enabling us to buy 
public assets without borrowing money off foreign bankers. Why is uh, he so keen order, on foreign point bankers? Order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Order. Point of order, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It was not a political question at all. It was a very, it was a very straight question about New Zealand's net debt increasing by 61 billion. I asked the minister if he thought this was a sustainable strategy. He is just opening by attacking me. It's got nothing to do with me. It's about his government. No, I think the minister adequately addressed the question that was asked. Is there any further supplementaries? Question number three, David Shearer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements?